Heyo! Today we'll be breaking out of bounds and just take a look at what's in the world of inscription. We'll start with the cabin. Everything in here is, uh, is looking pretty ordinary. However, the fun part comes when you look to the left. And here is where we can find Leshy. He's just a head floating around in the game, but usually you can't see him because it's too dark. If I move around a bit, we can see that in the background we have this blue thing and the wall is sort of starting at the left. If we take a look outside, from the outside, we can see that the wall is actually just shifted backwards and I'm unsure if this is intentional or just a mistake, but that's what it is. If we were to look upside, we can actually find the map that is used in game. And I'll show how this is used later on, but just keep in mind that it's floating up here. Another fun detail I found out is that the top of the clock are actually just playing cards, ordinary cards. And another thing, that these shelves you see on the left and right, they're actually much taller but if we take a peek from below, we can actually see that they are just pushed down underneath the ground, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, another detail I've noticed is that you can see that the squirrel in this card, it should have a specific squirrel background, like the backside of the card. But if we take a look, we can see that it's just the ordinary backside of the card, which is okay because you'll nev or usually never see this. And while we're looking at the 3D models, i just like to take a moment to appreciate how well detailed these models are. You can see that this one, it has hooves for legs, and you can see that it has a black heart with veins going upwards, which I think looks really, really cool. Another fun thing is that the original 3D model of this one actually has up to five candles, However, in game you can um, uh, have a maximum of three. Uh, a thing I noticed with this safe is that if we bring up the menu here, just give me a second, we can see here that this contents easter egg is the meat thing that's in the, uh, in the safe. It has a meat plate, I'm not really sure, I don't think there is a plate, but it exists there. But if we turn this off, there is a thing called Ascension Secret, and I think this is a thing specific to Cases mod. I'm using the Cases mod, but I'm in the actual campaign or whatever it's called. I'm not really sure what this is, I've never encountered it myself, but here it is. Spoilers. And we can also just show that we can enable the key. So this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. The last thing I want to show you is that behind this door, there is isn't actually anything, it's just empty. But if we take a look here, we can find the stunted wolf as a card just floating around. And I want to demonstrate how I think the game operates. So if I just go into this menu and enable card snapshot camera, this is the last card I interacted with, the great white. And I believe that the game generates this card and takes a snapshot of what it would look like and then applies it to the card play model, but don't take my word for it. Also, I'm not entirely sure how it, everything ties together yet, but uh, here you, you will also find Stinkbug and the Stoat as these portrait modes. Uh, I'm not really sure how I, how I get them to appear, but just know that they, they will appear here. Now, I've disabled the movement in game, but if I enable it, let me click here, let me close this. You can actually see what it looks like when the map falls down and what it, what it looks like when the cards appear. So if I turn off the first person camera controller again, you can see that the cards are laying here. Oh, just quick, I think that the other cards, yeah, you can see that behind here, you can find stink bug and the stoat. I'm not entirely sure how everything is laid out, but yeah, you can see them. Now quickly, let's move back. All right, another thing I've noticed, when you move into this mode, let me turn on this one and close these. You can sort of see when I move back, that the lights turn on. 
and when I move forward they turn off. If I turn this off again and turn around, currently I'm in the playing field. You can see that this door has disappeared, uh, Gubert has disappeared, the goat head has disappeared, and all the lights are off. Pretty cool. Okay, so I moved to the part of the game where you uh, make your own death cards. And this is what a scene looks like. I haven't beaten the game yet, so the new save file isn't there. But you can see the pile of corpses here. You can see the boxes, parts of P3 Magnificus, and Leshy there. And the camera. There really isn't much going on outside here. Half his body is missing. And there isn't really much going on. However, if I bring up the menu, I can actually remove these crates and we can get a better look at PO3 and Magnificus. PO3 is a lot darker than I remember him laying here and we can find Magnificus and actually get a pretty good look at his hands. This is what it looked like with the <laughs> real big nails. Another thing is that this pile of corpses if we take a look at what it looks like, just a second. Yeah, here it is, corpse pile. We can actually see that there's a long-haired man, skirt woman, and we can get like actual, yes, there are both males and females here. Which is the thing I've been wondering about because in, because sometimes your hand sort of looks a bit like a male's and sometimes a bit like a female's. But it's pretty cool to just see it here. And just as a little bit extra, I can do this. And we can actually get to see the face of a corpse, which is pretty creepy. Moving on. Now, before we leave the cabin, I just wanted to take a look at this little sequence. This is the dream sequence, if you're stuck in the game, the game sort of shows you a little painting of what to do to continue. So, I think it's pretty funny how this is done, and I think I know how it's done. So if you take a look at this, this is the painting with the safe in it. But if we turn around, we can actually see that up here, we have the cabin. And when we get here, we can see the safe, and in front of the safe, have this little plane and I believe the camera the game is putting a game camera here to show you something like this which I think is pretty funny and the reason why I believe this as well is because you have the spinning knife when you're supposed to use it so I think the game just switches the camera to point at this knife when you need it later on and yeah that's basically it for the cabin leave a like if you want me to I don't know check out the other parts as well we have like PO3's place, we have Grimora's place at the end, Magnificus, Last Battle. I can do a couple of more videos showcasing that. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Let's subscribe, subscribe.